Sure, it's uh, Sergeant B. Bondurant, B-O-N-D-U-R-A-N-T, Harris County Sheriff's Office, Vehicle Crimes Division. Okay, and where are we tonight? Uh, we're in the 23,800 block of Tomball Parkway, northbound. Uh, at about 11.08 p.m. today, uh, we had a uh, precinct four deputy constable uh, on view a major crash involving one of our patrol vehicles and a uh, civilian vehicle. Uh, we determined through our investigation here that a uh, Mercedes uh, sedan uh, was traveling northbound at a high rate of speed uh, and rear-ended a marked sheriff's office patrol vehicle. Uh, that crash resulted in the deputy, uh, our deputy being injured uh, and transported to a local hospital by a ground ambulance. Uh, he is currently stable, uh, still going through some medical testing to determine uh, what all injuries he sustained in the crash. Uh, the driver that struck our deputy uh, is an adult uh, Hispanic male, approximately 45 years old. Uh, he sustained minor injuries and was also transported to a local hospital. Uh, the driver that struck our deputy uh, was found to be intoxicated uh, and intoxication related charges are pending in this case. Judging by the impact on your guys' patrol car, it seems like it was a, a very high rate of speed at the time of the crash. Yeah, this, this crash is going to be a high speed crash, uh, which usually goes along with alcohol consumption. Uh, the console who viewed the crash or on view the crash uh, thinks it was an over 100 mile an hour crash. And judging by the evidence here on scene, I would say that's a correct uh, assumption. Um, off the top of your head, do you have any idea how far between the point of impact and where the cars are at? You know what that distance might be? I don't have an exact measurement, but I'd say four to 500 feet. Um, there were some witnesses who, I guess, they helped uh, pull the civilian out of their. <coughs> out of his vehicle um, do, you, do you know anything did you guys talk to them and yeah there were some witnesses here on scene that we did interview uh they advised they observed the patrol car driving uh down the freeway with its normal lights on no emergency lights uh i believe they said about 70 miles per hour uh and they observed uh sparks coming from the vehicle they didn't see the actual crash occur uh they did come up to the crash afterwards to make sure the deputy and civilian were okay uh, and they did advise they observed the civilian to be intoxicated as well it sounded like at one point your deputy may have been pinned in his car. Do you have any info on that? Yeah, uh, no entrapments on anybody, no pins. Uh, the deputy did go unconscious for a little bit, uh, but then regained consciousness whenever EMS got here. Um, and you said that everyone was just driving, the deputy was driving normally, no, no lights, no sirens, nothing like that? Yes, sir. We're, looks like it was a, he was not responding to an emergency call or anything like that. No lights, no sirens. Uh, we're still looking through the dash camera to make sure that's all correct. And we'll also download the vehicles to make sure we have accurate speeds. Um, can you just talk about, you know, this weekend being a World Series, uh, can you talk about the importance of not drinking and driving because stuff like this happens? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in Harris County. Uh, people, unfortunately, like to drink and drive uh, what seems like a lot around here. Uh, obviously, when you drink and drive, bad stuff can happen. People can be injured, whether it's a police officer or a civilian. Uh, and we don't want that to happen. We want everyone to be safe this whole week. We want the Astros to do well. We want everyone to go home at the end of the night, uh, including our deputies and our civilians.